Hello all, welcome to Rotainis.com. In this session, we'll discuss about global functions and BIP report and Oracle Fusion. When we create any data model, generally we have a grouping called global level functions. And also this particular global level functions are available in any of the data set which we create or by default within the data set also it is available. So we'll try to understand what is this global level function and why do we use it, okay? So now I'll just try to navigate to the Fusion application instance. Let us start this particular logic. I have a data model in which I have two queries. So the first one, let me explain this particular data model, G underscore one, which is based on which is based on AP invoice table as well as business units and where in the parameter is P org ID. So I have a, in this particular data model, we have two parameters, one is organization ID and other one is invoice ID. So for the first query, we are just simply passing the org ID. And of course I mentioned, you know, like row name less than 100, I can ignore this one or I can comment it out as of now. So in this particular query, what exactly it will return is, it will try to retrieve all the invoices which are there in this particular org ID. And coming to the second query, in this one, it is similar to the first one, but here we have joined the AP invoice lines also, and we are passing the invoice ID as an input. We are passing the invoice ID as an input. So it will fetch all the invoices of that particular respective invoice, which is selected, okay? So now you can see the parameters also, the P org ID and P invoice ID, and the P org ID is based on BU query, select BU name, BU ID. So this particular list of value will return the BU ID for the selected BU name. And similarly, this invoice, similarly the invoice list, this invoice list query, list of value which is based on, which is based on the business unit. Okay. So here what we can do is we just need to hard, we just need to pass the parameter of BU ID is equal to P underscore org underscore id. So this query will return the values based on the BU which is selected. Okay, so now we can see this invoice ID. Here we mentioned refresh other parameters on change. Okay, the P org ID is just as simple as that. So as of now, we have not created any group function, but let us run this query. And I'll just try to select UK business unit and select some data okay so we got some data now okay so this is the the first part is displaying the invoice data and second part is displaying the invoice line data now let us understand the group functions okay so now let us understand this particular component called global level functions which are available at the total report level and now what we can do is here if you observe there are two ways of creating a group level function or global level function you can click on this gear icon click on add element by expression, add element by expression. So in the add element by expression, what we can do is here, if you click on this particular function, it shows a lot number of functions which are available. So, you know, like uh, here we have, as a developer, we have to manually type in or uh, select the expression and we have to write it. The other easiest way what we can do is let us say, we want to find out the total number of invoices which are available in a selected org. What I can do is I'll just simply drag and drop this invoice ID on this particular aggregate function component. So once you drag and drop here, you can observe here, like if you, the position is not correct, it shows the red color, no symbol, but if, let us say if the positioning is correct, you know, it simply accepts that and converts that into some, like a, a C as like a nothing but a summary column, Col some column summary or summary column with some name here. But what is the functionality to apply? What you have to do is you just click on this gear icon take it out the properties. By default, it may apply some particular function based on what you selected. So now here, selected count. Let us say if you want to have a count as count as a function to be applied, just use count. Or let us say if you want if you want to have a different function, you change it accordingly. Now in our case, we just want to have a count. So let us go ahead with that. So I'll say invoice or I'd say in invoice count function and uh, just change it a little bit invoice count fun and click on okay and similarly let us say i want to have the total invoice 
amount also. Now let us say in this particular group, I don't have the invoice amount column, right? So what I can do is I can have AIA invoice underscore amount. So we can get the total invoice amount also. I'll just drag and drop the invoice amount here. Now this particular one, check out the property here, properties. And here we it's not about con, we require summary. We require summary. So I'll just say invoice amount function. So here if you observe the column name is this one. Column name is like a group name followed by column name. So I'll just click on okay. Now this is a global level function. Now within the group also we can add up function. Now let us say within the group, you know, like now what I want to do is, I want to find out the number of invoice lines in a given invoice. So now here, if you observe, click on data. Now I'll select some other business unit. And here I'll select. Click on structure again. Yeah, so these are applied here. Click on data. Save it once. Let's select some invoice. So we are not able to see them, right? We are not able to see the global functions. Let's see why it does not display. Yeah, so can you see it is displaying here, but in the view it is not displaying, but ideally it has to show. Ideally it has to show somewhere, okay? But anyway, so we're able to see the information here, invoice count function, invoice amount function. Now what we want to do is we would like to have a similar, similar functionality available or similar function, a summary function within the group. What we can do is in this particular G underscore three, I want to find out the number of invoices sorry number of lines in a given invoice so now what i can do is it has to be grouped now it has to be grouped then only you can perform that particular function so let us say i'll say i want to group the data based on invoice id so now the data got grouped and here i just want to find out the number of lines right so i'll just say drag and drop like this on this now the summary call summary column got created, but let us see the property. So I want to find out the account. Let's say line count. Invoice line count function. Just save it. Right? So now we can see here we got five lines, right? Maybe just expand this one, see what is the exact correct count. So in this one, yeah, in this invoice, we just have only five lines. Or similarly, let us select another invoice, so which has only four lines. Now, let us see how we can use this particular information in the report. So as of now, with the data model, yeah, we are able to do it. But how we can design a template based on this? So let us try to design that logic now. So I'll just take the latest data model. This is our latest data model, which is with two. Now I'll create a template. I'll just try to see the template, how we can make use of this logic. Okay. Click on BA Publisher, load the data. Now, so here if you observe, we don't want to display all the invoice data. This particular first level data we don't require, but we just want to display this information as well as the three grouping informations, okay? So now, this particular data we want to display, nothing but G, G data I want to display. So I'll just click on Table Wizard and uh, click on Next. And uh, G data is available in G3. So I'll just select Next. Select all the information, invoice ID, org ID, line number, and all this. Finish. Now we have some set of, you know, like um, the summary information, right? So let us display that. How do we do it, right? So we can do it in a number of ways. Like uh, now, let us say I would like to have a table stuff. 
total invoice count in ORC. Total invoice amount. And we can have a parameters also, right? Let us say if you want to have a parameter to be displayed, we can just I can create one more table. Let's say org. As of now, the parameters will display org ID and invoice ID. But later on, you know, if you at all, if you want to display org name, invoice number, that then we have to add up some other logic. So for now, I'll just ignore that logic. So here I'll select org ID, and here I'll select invoice ID. And similarly, total count invoice count in organization. So in which particular function we have? So here, if you observe invoice count function, so total invoice count function, I'll select this function and total invoice amount function, I'll select this function. And now oh, here, this is, you know, like other one, invoice line count. Here, I can just select this one. Okay. Now I can just see the preview. So this is how it will display. Of course, you can format in a little bit good way. So as it is just a demo. So here you can observe like uh, for the selected organization and selected invoice, we selected, we provided the parameters. Then we provided the number of invoice in the selected, in the selected org. And then we provided the invoice amount. Now what we can do is as of now, whatever the count which it was providing, it is not actually correct because this is, getting displayed based on the sample data which we have provided now we'll try to finish it off like uh, what we do is we'll try to create the template and we'll try to upload it and we can get the actual invoice count in the fusion application instance so now i'll just click on catalog click on create a report Click on use report editor. Click on finish. Now men mention the report name, invoice details. Upload the template. better to have a default format html as of now click on properties uncheck auto run option as user has to select the parameters and we can make it as mandatory also but for now it's okay and now let's try to run the report and see what exactly it will display okay so now us1 or uk will select uk or maybe let us say us data and click on search let's say any invoice number on apply and the invoice line count it shows five which is not correct and uh, invoice count in this organization it's okay yeah the probably it is it, the mistake would be in the invoice you know like uh, here the grouping one so here the template seems there is some mistake here right so it should be based on the top level grouping so now what i'll just cut it and here what i'll do is table wizard so this is actually you know this is a parent data and this one we have invoice id and finish it off now what we have to do is
as we have a grouping inside another one right so the chain will not get repeated right so we have to repeat the chain based on the number of records so that's the reason we require iteration here and finish okay so i'll try to upload the latest template now edit report yeah the other way you can do it Click on properties, click on this upload icon, choose file, choose template, English. Okay. Save it. Click on return. Click on view report now. So now here, this is the parent to data, and this is the list of lines which are available in this invoice. And you can observe like a total invoice count is this one, total invoice amount is this one, total invoice amount across the or not just single invoice, right? And this is our invoice ID, and there are four lines here. Maybe you can try another another invoice. Now I'll select some other invoice, right? So we got five count. So this is this is how, this is how we can use those particular global functions in the rtf template of course these functions are available within the rtf template level but here what are we doing is we are trying to have the summary columns within the data model level itself so there are number of ways or number of advantages you have either way you can use it but in this one not only this simple function we have a lot number of functions we can use it now if we observe here you can use this large number of functions okay so yeah so this is all about uh, global level functions in the brp thank you